Greetings to you and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. I hope you are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will actually be showing you how to create a drop down list, otherwise known as a drop down menu in Excel, and how to also edit, let's say, an existing uh, drop down list or drop down menu in Excel. In other words, how do you actually add, let's say, values to your drop down list? Or remove values from your drop down list. This could be, for instance, a drop down list of the black groups of people, a drop down list of, let's say, uh, countries of origin of people. And you'd want to maybe remove some countries out of your drop down list or add some countries. This would help you out. And if you don't just know how to create a drop down list, then this video would also help you today on how to actually create a drop down list in Excel. So before we proceed, please kindly subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting tutorials on my channel. Without much ado, let's head on to the computer and I will show you how. All right, so as you can see, I have a hypothetical data set, all right, a very simple data set. And uh i probably want to insert let's say a drop down list over here such that anytime i want to enter the country of a student for instance if i continue to enter this like a student a student's register so if i continue to enter students names here and their ages and i want to select their countries of origin i would just click and select from the drop down menu instead of typing you know all the time because typing, we always have typing errors occurring. You know, the more you type, the higher the risk of having typing errors. Moreover, uh, it is time consuming, you know, typing countries, you know, and all of that. So you just want to click and select. This is the purpose of a drop down list. So we'll see how we can create a drop down list. And after which, we also look at how do we edit, like I said remove or add values to your drop down list so to create a drop down list it is first of all important that you create a new sheet okay so to create a sheet i can just click on this plus sign down here and you can see that i have created what a new sheet so this sheet we could call it for instance a list of countries for instance Okay, so this is a list of countries, right? And then um, over here will be what? If we just start typing our country. So let's say Ghana. Uh, Morocco. Let's say Ethiopia. Let's say uh, Russia. Let's say the US, let's say France, all right, let's say what else, Kenya or Namibia, and many more, all right. So, but for now, please just put your the name of your country in the drop down in the chat box, all right. <laughs> And then I'll I'll consider your country in my future tutorials. But for now, we just have these few countries here, right? So we come to students here. Then we click on this cell here for Minukum, for instance. We want to enter a drop-down list for um, and select the country for Minukum. But we make sure we we apply it to all other cells, you know, you know. But for now, let's just click on Minu this cell here. Then we click on data. Then we click on what data, like I said, data validation. All right, we click on this drop down menu, then we select what list. Now we click on this arrow here, and then we come to list of countries and come and select what our countries here. After which, we click on this drop down arrow, then we say OK. Now, once we do that, we come to students here. 
we now have the possibility of choosing the country for what? Minuku, for instance, so we could say he's from Ghana. Of course, I'm from Ghana, in case you never know. But now you see that when we click on the other cells, the changes that we have applied don't show up, you see? So instead of always repeating the same procedure, I will show you how to make things easier for you. Okay, so you can apply it to all other cells. So let's click on Alex2. Click on, let's say, data, valida data, uh, data validation. Click on drop down menu, select list. Click on this arrow here. Come to list. Select everything. And then click here and say, OK. Now, if we click here, we have the option to choose what? The country for uh, Alex2. But before we do that, we simply click here, okay, for Alex. Then we put the cursor somewhere down here. When it becomes crossed like this, we simply left click and drag it down. You can drag it down as long as you want because you want to include future rows, you know. And mind you, so you see that now, anytime I click on any of these, I have the option to choose the country for them. And if I ever end up, you know, maybe I finish, I end, I ended up here and I'm now adding more students. I can always do a similar thing. Just click on the cell and just drag it down to make sure that you have the possibility to choose, you know, from the drop down list for the remaining people. It's very simple. So we can start for uh, um, Alex. We can say Alex is, for instance, a Russian. Maybe uh, Monica is an American. Maybe Ali is a French. Maybe Bayo is what? Koyo is from Ghana. Bayo is also from, let's say, Ghana. See how simple it is. Uh, Eric is from, let's say, France. You know, Raho is from, let's say, uh, Morocco. Alex is from, let's say, the US. Lamal is from, let's say, Morocco. Kimani is from, let's say, Kenya or Ethiopia. You see, it's very simple. So this is how we create a drop-down list. For those of you who don't know how to create a drop-down list, now you know, right? Very simple. Now, how do we edit a drop-down list? Okay, we have our beautiful drop-down list, right? And we want to be able to add values to it. How do we do that? Or how do we remove values from it? All right, so let's assume that we have another person that is called, um, this person is called, let's say, um, let's say this person is called Kojo or Bayo. Okay, this person is called Bayo. Oh, Bayo already exists. So let's say this person is called Na. All right, and now is age, let's say, 34. And now is from maybe Burkina Faso. Meanwhile, Burkina Faso is not in any, it's not listed here. So what do we do? Okay, what we need to do is to simply come over here and come and type to your list of values that you've created for your, your drop-down list, right? So you can type here, let's say, Burkina. Okay. So now once you type Burkina Faso or Burkina here, what happens? We come back to your list of your students here. Now if we should click on this drop down menu, it still doesn't show up. So how do we make sure that Burkina shows up here? It's very simple. All we need to do is to simply what? Click on this cell here and then click on data validation once again all right click on this arrow here and you can see clearly that the range of values do not cover or does not cover burkina it ends at what row seven so to make sure that burkina is added we'll have to put row eight so just delete this seven here and type what eight so, and then you click here because if you were row 10, you just delete and add 10. So if I should do this and say, okay, 
Now, if I click on this drop-down menu, I can add what? Volcano. It's very simple, right? But now, let's assume that you want to correct somebody's uh, origin. So maybe Bayo is also from Burkina and not Ghana. But if you click on there, you cannot see Burkina simply because we just entered Burkina for just this cell. You see? So to make sure that uh, Bayo, we are able to correct his country of origin from the drop down list, then we simply select Ghana here or this cell here. Then we click on data, we click on data validation. Okay, then we click on this drop down menu and then we simply type, you know, the last cell, which is what? Uh, it, you know. All right, then I click on this menu here and say okay. And now, if I click here, I can be able to add correct the country for bio. So you see that it's very simple. Now let's think of how do we remove the country for somebody, okay? How do we re actually remove the country for somebody? Uh, I said the country for somebody. How do we remove a value from our drop-down list? It's very simple. All you have to do is to delete the row that constitutes what the value, all right? So over here, for instance, uh, let's assume that we want to remove a particular country. We want to remove, let's say, um france okay so we just click on france click on row six all right and it selects it then we right click and say delete once we delete it and come to our drop down menu and click on any of the cells we no longer see france see we no longer see france so though france is still here because we had entered france before deleting the row so we can now correct this. How do we correct it? We can now click here and select the rightful country for this person. Maybe this person is rather from maybe Morocco and not France. You see how it is. So this is how you can delete a value from your drop-down list. You simply delete the row within your list of values. Now, before I let you go, there is one thing that you need to note. Sometimes the list of values may be hidden. So if you have a big Excel with a lot of sheets and whatever, and sometimes they just don't want to have a lot of sheets because that makes your document, it makes it hard to, to look for things. So they may decide to hide some sheets. So to hide, maybe this sheet was hidden, okay? So to hide a sheet, you simply, uh, let's say, right click on the sheet and say hide. And you see that this sheet is hidden. So maybe you are not the one that created the data set. You are not aware that the sheet was hidden. And you wanted to enter somebody's name. You entered the fellow's name, the age, and whatever. And then when it was time to enter the country of origin, you quickly realize that this country did not does not exist within the drop-down menu. Meanwhile, you don't even know where the list of values that constitute your drop-down list or is so that you can edit it. So just click on any sheet under here, right click on it and select and hide. And then you see that all the hidden sheets will be displayed here. Just make sure you go through, select the sheet in question. All right. That constitute your list of values that constitute your drop down list and just unhide it. Just say, okay. All right. So let's take it again. It's hidden this way. I right click on any of the sheets under here, select and hide this drop down menu pops up right you select make sure you select the go through you know if you have a lot of sheets select a sheet that actually constitute what your hidden uh, list of values right that constitute your drop down list you know so you just select it and say okay and it's now unhidden and you can now add or remove values to your drop down list as you can see it is very very simple right so thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Please remember to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.